I, I was neglecting my children. I had just fed my daughter, and it, it was a deputy sheriff, and he tried to get me with in, uh, resisting arrest. I'm 120 pounds, and I urinated all over myself and had to go to the jail like that. And he he didn't even wasn't even called to the scene the second time, and he still arrested me after I, the cops were going to let me go. Thank you. I believe you. Yes, thank you so well, who much. Who was the cop that did that to you? Um, Sheriff Deputy. Um, oh shoot. Um, Sp 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 or something. It smart. Sp Find out his what, name. What is it? Spurlock. No, no. Um, it starts with the S. Starts with an S. Yes, and um, he's a big guy. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. Do you want to say your name? Amber Fraley, thank you so much. Okay, okay. How you guys doing? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Freddie don't fuck with nobody. Freddie Yeah, he knows my dad. The video that. So tell me about your father. I'm waiting for Sarah here. My we're gonna do. We're gonna actually, do her. Actually, he actually here. just got locked up um, and sent away for nine months. And um, I got a the video. The cops um, actually beat the shit out of him. I got the video. I gave that to him as well. Um, I don't. I don't associate with Blankenship and McKnight, and I don't support what they did either. What, what, so. Was it Blankenship and McKnight who beat him up? Yeah, I have the, that's in yeah. the video. It pull pull it up. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the video. So, so her dad's in a, in a store. I just saw the video. Her, I'm waiting for Sarah. Sarah's going to come down. And uh, what these guys are doing is, well, you know, the MO of, of the court system is that people don't know their rights. They don't know the law. And so what they do is people who are willing to help them what they do is they kick them out of the room. So we're gonna get power of attorney today for Sarah and for Tim. They won't be able to kick me out of the room anymore. So. Here on the video, I don't know how to. Just push play. Okay. Oh, I got it, it's an iPhone? Okay. Come over here in the shade so people can see this. Is there volume on this or? Um, no, there's no sound on it, but it's. Um... Oh, I think it's playing. Yep, it's playing. It's right there. It there it is. There it There's is. There's my dad. So will you hold that right there? Just hold yes. that right there. Just, just don't. Just try not to move it. I'm gonna flip the phone around so people can just watch it because I don't have time to edit stuff. I'm super. Just move this little thing right there. Okay. So, so there. Watch this. There, there's. Wa wa watch this. Watch how savagely they just immediately attack. It's absolutely incredible. So you're gonna see her dad is gonna appear somewhere right over here in a second. There's the clerk. There's the clerk right there of the That's actually my mom that oh. they also arrested as well. Oh, they arrested your mom at the for same no time reason. for no reason. Sounds like Sarah Page getting arrested with Tim because she won't give the name. She won't give the name. And that's all it takes is if you just don't answer their questions. Oh, I I think I messed it up there. Push play again. I think I I had it earlier. I can Hey, there you are, Sarah. One Hi, second. Sarah. One second, let me get this just right. Uh, I can get it to exactly where it is. Yeah, give me, give me, give me, where they start attack. I mean, you should see this. They just attack the guy. And by the way, this could be called Anywhereville, USA. Right, there's my dad walking. He's walking back there. You see. Here, try not to move too much. I'm going to try to get, okay, there's the dad right there. You see one cop right there. And then you see another cop walk in. So there's two cops just walked yep. in. Yep. And then after that, and then. There's your mom. Yep. Keep going a little bit more. Right there. That's where it starts. Oh, there you go. You're, you move your phone too much. Keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. You're moving your phone. There sorry. you go. It's okay. We're trying to get this so that we don't have to go through editing. Okay, now get another play. So it's there they playing. are. There they are right there. And there. then they start punching him in the face for absolutely no reason. So let it play. I just want to watch it play. So they're right on top there. of him. You got two guys on top of him, McKnight and Blankenship. And, and he's small. He has a hurt hip from it as well. He rocked two black guys because of it. So let me ask you a question. Your dad at this point, he had assaulted somebody, right? He had punched somebody in the face and was beating up children. Is that why he was attacked like this? No. He had a warrant. He had a warrant. Oh, what was the warrant for? Uh, not uh, checking in. Not checking in with his Not check. So he didn't check in. With, he didn't check in with his probation officer, and so they saw, they went to the what was it Seven Eleven Quickie Mart? Is that where it was? Um, Clark. Actually, Clark's up here on Park Avenue. Yeah. It was Clark's up on Perks Avenue. Okay. Yep. And then they just attacked him. Yep. They they said you have a warrant, and then it was an attack. Yeah, yep. basically. So he just asked him. He kept asking him to take it outside because I worked there. Okay. I you, asked him you, twice. You work at that store. Yes, I was assistant yeah. manager there. Yeah. 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 
I lost my job. I oh, went you, to jail. You lost your job and you went to jail. Oh, that's you because in the video. Of them yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's you that, in the video. That's, that's my mom. So, so your husband had a warrant and they took you to jail? They took me to jail for obstruction because I asked them to take it outside. Because you said to take it outside, they arrested you. Who arrested you? McKnight, or Mc, not McKnight, Blankenship. But Blankenship McKnight, arrested McKnight you. McKnight gave the orders to arrest me. McKnight gave the orders yeah, to arrest me. Yeah, you said in the video, he throws his hand up and he said, fucking cuff her and take her too. Cuff her and take her too. Can you hear the audio on that? No. Because I, I have so many videos, guys, I can't, I can't be editing. That's why I'm going live all the but time. But you can see him throw his hand up and that's when Blankenship came and arrested me. Okay. And I ended up getting two felonies. My dad is you got, you got two felonies? Mm -hmm. But I didn't see you do anything in the, in the... Exactly. You were just standing there. What yep. happened with your felonies? Um, well, one got thrown out and the other one uh, was brought down to a misdemeanor. And you pled out? Yeah, just so I don't you have pled to come out. back down here. So you don't have to go... You can't take a plea deal. You got to fight till the... Ugh, I'm so sorry this happened to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry this happened so to you. So now I have no job. Now you have no job and you have a misdemeanor on your record. Yeah. And just so you guys know, predictive policing computers across America, if you even have a misdemeanor on your record, you might end up in the slot like Isaiah Saldate over there in Morgan, in, uh, Morgan Hill. So, so, so she's telling you that she has a misdemeanor now for telling the cops to take her husband outside as they attacked him. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. You. you guys good? You all right? I'll shake your hand. Thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's go, Sarah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go file power of attorney, Sarah, so that they can't, they can't do what they're doing. I got a question for you, Sarah, and some people were asking me this yesterday. Who was the public pretender that you had that, told, that came up and said, you get five days in jail? Who, who was that? Uh, Jean Meadows. Jean Meadows. Hey, Jean. You know, I don't, I don't want to slander your good name or, or, or disparage your good name, Mr. Meadows, because I know what it's like to be defamed. I really do. Trust me. People saying things about me that fundamentally aren't true. But I'd like to talk to you, Mr. Meadows, because she said, and this is what she said, she said that you walked up to her and said five days in jail at one hearing, and then at the next hearing, you walked up and gave her a piece of paper and said, that's it, case dismissed. So which is it, Mr. Meadows? How would you guide your client? You know, because... That, that, you know, I, I don't know the rules of court procedure and I don't know the rules of procedures in law. I just know the foundations of law. But Mr. Meadows, if you didn't advise her properly, then you didn't do your job. I did their job for him. Right, you did the job for it. And, and did you ever see that body cam footage? Other than the one that uh, Officer Akers had, I never I'm talking got... talking about the first one where you went to court and they wanted to give you five. The, the, yeah. That's the only one. The only one. Okay. Is uh, from Officer Akers, but I wanted the body cam of the officers that actually arrested me and held my freedom over my head that were standing in a car telling me, just give this information and you can leave and we're done. That's it. And I refused to do so. You didn't have to. There's so many people contacting me that I can't keep up. That's why I've invited other auditors to come. That's why I've invited a couple of them. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. How are you, how are you, how are you I'm going to the clerk's office to file power of attorney? Is that is the clerk's office right here? Or was it's on the side. Clerk's office. Right, right, right. right. I mean, you guys, you, guys don't, you guys don't want to check me for weapons or anything? You got one on? No, I'm not kidding. You, you guys know that. I'm law and order, man. I'm, oh, I know. I'm, you're law and order. I'm for law and order, brother. 100%. For rule of law. That's what I'm for. And for transparency. Oh, good job. All right. You got that zip drive? Okay. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Uh, could I get a power of attorney form? You guys have that here? Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. I can. You just got a piece of paper here, and I'll just go ahead and I'll just I'll make a power of attorney form right here, right now. And then, do we turn in our evidence here for the for the trial for running a stoplight? Is that where we turn our evidence in here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. So just so you guys know, and I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of education here as we, as we go down the road. So just so you guys know, the 14th Amendment gives you the right to contract. You can contract with any person. I can contract with any of these women here. I can contract with her. You have the right to contract with anybody you want, just so you know. So, so when I write an official contract that's power of attorney, it's legal and binding because we have the right to contract and the government, it's really none of their business. 
unless they don't want to get taxes out of it. Is it S A R A H? What, uh, write your address right there, right there. I'm just going to put this. Okay. Thank you. you well, thank you. That's nice of you. All right. You know, just write your address right there. Okay. So what they try to do is they try to separate people who have knowledge about the law and people who understand their constitutional rights from people who don't have knowledge about the law and don't know their constitutional rights. It's, it's a big game. And last night, the, the Lawrence County, the Chesapeake, all the different uh, police agencies in the tri-state area had a secret meeting last night that I got informed. I, there's informants everywhere. There's informants in this office. There's informants in every office that are calling me and telling me the inside information. A secret meeting? Yep. Yep, that's right. Uh, write your date of birth, just right here in this little, uh, no, no, I need your, your, your address has to go here. That, what's that? No, I need your, that's, oh, 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 I see, I see, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm not, I, I, I told you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not real quick on the uptake here. So, uh, just write your deal. D-O-B, put your D-O-B right there. So we're just gonna write an official contract here and turn it in, then we're gonna turn in our evidence. Are, are you all clerks or are you all working reception? Clerks. You're clerks. Deputy clerks. Deputy clerks, so does someone wanna witness this signature so that we can have an official contract here according to the courthouse as well? Oh, I'm not a notary. You don't have to be a notary. Notary expired. <laughs> You're not going to get fired, honey. You I said expired. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Just sign right there, honey, and I'm going to sign right here. It, why, why hasn't Sam contacted me yet? You figure he's hearing all these things about all this crap. I mean, so many videos. His office is right there. I have no his idea. His office is right it's here? It's right around the corner on okay. the other side. So here, and give me that zip drive, Sarah. Today's going to be the 24th or 25th? Today's the 24th. Okay, and this... Okay. She just needs to bring that to court with her. Well, you got to turn it in three days in advance. Today's the, today's the, the last day we can get it turned in in time, Acor right. according to the, the Ohio State procedure rules. All right. So I want to make sure that zip drive is submitted. And uh, I don't want to get you on camera, ma'am, because you never done anything wrong nice to me. So I don't want to try to hurt you or anything. So there's the zip drive we're turning in. This is the, the official of the body cams that show that Blankenship stalked Sarah for, for 10, 15 minutes before he finally pulled her over, harassed her. For 45 minutes while she was trying to get a job. So there that is. I signed, I signed, and you can put the clerks right there. I'm so sorry. I should have given you a signature. And then I'll take a photograph of that and you can have and then you can have the hard copy. You want a copy of this? Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Tried contacting Mayor Sam Kramlet for almost two months after his very first incident. Mm -hmm. I left multiple messages. I left notes with the clerk in his office. I tried to email. Never had nobody contact me back. And that went on for about four months up until they finally dismissed my case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the same case they offered you five days in prison on? And then the next hearing, they, they dropped it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So you guys got a copy of that. You got a copy of that. I'm just going to take a real... I'm going to leave. 
take a photograph of that with your phone because I'm rolling live. I don't want people to have, I mean, sure. even though it's a small town, everybody knows where everybody lives and stuff. I just don't want to dox anybody for any reason. Yeah, if you're driving down 52 and you blink, you'll miss us. Yeah, I mean, are you guys happy I'm getting rid of the few bad apples? I mean, is everybody here happy about that? Because there's only a few bad cops. I mean, there's only a few. There's only a couple bad cops, right? So everybody seems to be overjoyed that I'm exposing the, the bad apples. Or is that not true? I don't know. I haven't been following you, so I didn't know. Oh, you haven't seen those videos, huh? I've seen bits and pieces, but no. Oh. Did you see Sarah's story? Did you see her whole story? No. Because those would be the bad apples. If, if there are good cops, I've never met one, but if, if there are good cops, then, you know, I guess just the bad ones are harassing her. Everybody seems really happy about it so far in this town. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for your time. You get a photograph of that? I did. Okay. I'm going to leave your pin there because it doesn't belong to me. Thank you. Thank you. Like Where's Sam's office? It's around this way. Let's go talk to Sam Cramblett. Let's see what Sam has to say. You know where his office is? Uh, I, I, I don't. I, I think she, she said she knew where it was, oh, but it's okay. right around the corner here. Okay, let's go, let's go talk to Sam. And then I'm heading over to a cafe here in Ironton. Mayor's office. Amazing. Thank you. So it's the mayor's office. Well, this is nice. Just a nice, nice little office here. Oh, I see you ring the doorbell? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'd like to talk to Sam if I could, please. He's actually out to lunch. He's out to lunch? Okay. Where's he at lunch at? Okay, cool. Then I will. Uh, your name and number? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. I'd love to. Oh, I don't mind one bit. No problem. Are you Are you happy that I'm here to root out the the bad police? Because the, oh, there's only a few bad apples. So, are you happy that I'm here to get rid of the bad cops? Oh, I got a channel called Delete Laws on YouTube, and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm exposing the few bad apples. It says chili. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, I'll have him call you. Okay, I do appreciate that. I'll be at the cafe. Uh, hold on one second. Let me take a look at this. This is going to be his re-election video right here today. Peddlers? Peddlers. Peddlers. Hello, That's right. There? I'll be there the rest of the day. I'll be interviewing okay. people from Ironton. Okay? God All bless right. you. I'll appreciate you your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. What did what, what, you just say? Between me, though, is that I've been willing to meet these guys in a fair arena. I've been willing to meet these guys in court. What they've done is they've bullied women, and there's now several women who've come forward and said that they're bullying them. Okay. But I'm a bitch? You are. Wait a minute, aren't you here? Because you're going around to these cities that you're not even from. Like, nobody asked for you to come here no, and no, she did. She, she, no, no, she, she did. She, around here will help us. She, Mayor, she contacted the sheriff, she went to the district attorney, she went to her public pretender. So what, what should she do if she's being harassed by people? What should she do? No, no, I mean, you it's said you said I'm a bitch. Her, if it so happened to you, what would you do? Matter. Would you want my help? If it not, happens, not yours. Oh, oh but That's you called me a bitch. I didn't call you any names. Right. Oh, don't worry. I, I wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? She the door. Hey, let me listen. I'll be at Peddler's Cafe if you want to come down. I'll give you a fair shake to. I'll give you a fair shake to say your side of the story. Then they they grabbed her and said, "Come hide, come hide." Just now. She's a cattle. She's used did you see your nose ring? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be told because it hurts my feelings that people are that ignorant. The, she, well, the, Sarah, the, she doesn't care about you. What happened I to you? I still care about her. Right, but what happened to you doesn't matter. It's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter, Sarah. What, what happened to you is irrelevant. She, she just doesn't like the bad cops being exposed. Well, why is that? Why do you think that is? Do, who is she? Does she? I have no idea. I've she looks like one of the daughters of one of those people. She walked by and called me a bitch. Do, do I seem like a bitch to you? Her parents must have raised her well. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have said a lot of things to me. And you know what? There's going to come a time in her life that she's going to need somebody, and then she's going to feel like I did when she reached out to everybody and nobody helped her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason nobody in the tri-state will help anyone is because they all work together. That's why it took getting somebody not around here to help. Right. Right. 
So Sam Cramblett is amazingly out to lunch, huh? I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked that Sam's out to lunch. Are you? And see, here's, here's the thing. The, the cops all had it. Just so you know, all the cops, Chesapeake, uh, what are the little, tri little towns, villages around here? Uh, there's Chesapeake, South Point, Hanging Rock. Hanging Rock. Uh, Franklin Furnace, it's a little ways up. Uh -huh. And then, um, of course, Ironton here, and then right across the river, you got Russell, Ashland, Boyd County. If you decide to go across the river next, you're... <laughs> There's nothing they're going to do to me because I've got dozens of screenshots of those same people who are the good cops saying that they should follow me around and arrest me. I posted it on my Facebook. See, what you good cops don't understand, the one saying I should be arrested, is that I'm here to help you get rid of the bad apples so that, so that we can respect you guys. And by the way, if I get pulled over anywhere, you can expect a civil rights lawsuit against you. Just like I took power of attorney for her, you guys, I'm going to sue you because I have power of attorney now, meaning I don't have to be a lawyer. I can sue and I can file it myself because I have power of attorney, jackasses. So it's like, it's like, I figure you good cops would be so happy. All you good cops who said he should be arrested. What should I be arrested for? For what? And, and, and listen, the, the boxer cop, Adam, whatever, he, I don't, I don't want to, well, no, he doxed himself. He put himself on Facebook. He's the one who said, and then he put up pictures of him boxing in great shape. Adam, I'm in great shape now. I don't need to put up an old photograph, Adam. You, you, just makes me sick. I can't fight everybody, right? I'm old. There was a time in my 20s that I would have whooped everybody. I can't, I'm too old. They don't have dash cams in any of the vehicles here and it's because they can get away with saying that people did things that they didn't. Because if there were dash cams, that would hold them responsible for what they're pulling people over for. I have no less than five people who've contacted me and said that the cops went the wrong way or sped up at 100 miles an hour to catch them down the one way street. They're, they're lying. They're lying. Okay, so where, where is Peddler's Cafe? Um, all the way down 3rd Street. How far down is it? Go down here? Yeah, it runs the full length of town all the way down. Peddler's on the left. So go down, just on this street yep. right here, and it's on the left-hand side? Yep. Where are you going right now? Home. You're going to go home? <laughs> okay. You're, you're more than welcome to come to Peddler's, but pe you. people might talk, talk trash to you. It's okay. okay. I'm used to that. <laughs> so so now I can really help you. A, cu a couple of my, my paralegals who, who, who are actually the the procedural experts, they, they called me last night and we talked about the power of attorney. And now they can't stop us. Thank you. Boom. Thank you, Chili. You see what our shirt says? You matter. You matter. So that, that, I'm out. So that girl who just walked by and called me a bitch, how come Sarah doesn't matter? Why does, why does her being abused and harassed under the color of law, why does that matter so much? Because you have the 14th Amendment that gives you equal protection under the law and the right to contract. This is the fundamental principles of America. And that's why these dirty swine are having emergency meetings to talk about me. Well, why are you having emergency meetings? Because I haven't done anything wrong. I'm literally a journalist and a civil libertarian, and I'm here to try to get justice, to get rid of the few bad apples. Why would you be upset about that? I couldn't imagine it. I can't imagine why you'd be mad about that. What makes you mad about that? So, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, I'm heading down to Peddler's Cafe. I'll be there all day. I'll be there all day. I'll be there all day. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, you know what? What I'm not gonna do is I learned my lessons from TikTok. I'm not gonna get into the minutia of little individuals. You know, well, you said this or you said that, right? I'm not gonna get into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stay on the highbrow stuff. I'm gonna stay on the justice stuff, on the legal stuff. Because now I can file a federal civil rights lawsuit for Sarah. <laughs> because, uh, and by the way, I wanna thank Tom Popson Tom Popson in Missouri, Tom Popson, he's the one who, who, who sent, and also JoJo in Dallas, Texas. I wanna thank JoJo. JoJo and Tom Popson, two guys. Of course, there's X Factor and, uh, and uh, John Connor, who, who, who remains anonymous. But I wanna just take the time to thank Tom Popson for giving me some really solid legal stuff. Appreciate you, Tom. I mean, really, like, Really appreciate you, you educating me. Remember, I only know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. So I'm just a regular guy, just a regular human. 
But these cops are having emergency meetings about what? what? Why would you have an emergency meeting? Your emergency meeting should have been when you rooted the corruption out. That's where your emergency meeting should have been. That's where you guys up, right? Because this camera right here, and I'm just going to keep on rallying about it. This camera right here is a game changer. The camera changes everything. The only reason there's any kind of justice that's going to happen here is because of the camera, not because of a gun, not because I can beat up Adam in a cage for a charity fight, not because of any of those things. The only reason change here is going to happen is because of this camera. So, and then listen to me, you guys, ASD Docs, his, his channel got canceled last night because he put his finger in the eye of the judges in Utah. And so his channel got canceled. ASD Docs, that's his, that's his username. And ASD Docs, ASD and then D-O-C-S, ASD Docs has been a loyal friend to me since June of 2021. He never wavered when people talk bad about me. A matter of fact, he promoted me at that time. ASD Docs. So I don't know what his new channel is, is going to be called, but I want to I want to make sure that everybody knows that you need to contact people in charge because I can't tell you guys to call anywhere, but you need to contact people in charge that would delete ASD Docs channel on YouTube. So that's that's what I can say to you. That's one second. Now here's the thing: when I walk when I walk down when I when I get down to Peddlers here, to Peddlers Cafe, there's going to be a smorgasbord of people ready to meet me and tell me their story. You just saw that girl. Her dad had a warrant, so they had to beat the heck out of him before they could serve the warrant on him. They had to beat his butt right in front of his wife in the wife's store where she worked. And then they arrested the wife and charged her with two felonies. She, one was dismissed and then she pled not, she got knocked down to a misdemeanor. So she has a criminal record based on her husband having a warrant. And that was McKnight and Blankenship again. And by the way, just so you know, I fell asleep at my computer last night getting all the voicemails because here's the thing. Nobody's voice is going to be recognized. There's only two people who said, no, 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 no. Do not change my voice. Everybody else is scared. Everybody else here is scared. That, that, that's a pig right there. That's a pig right there in an undercover car. Why do you have an all black undercover car? That's not why we have police. We have police to enforce your rights being protected. That's the fundamental of understanding why we have police. We do not have police so they can drive around in all black vehicles with tasers and shotguns and uh, AR-15s and try to kill you. This is just so preposterous. And now that the camera is here, and I'm just gonna keep talking about, this camera makes the Bill of Rights come true for the first time in history. 2022, finally the Bill of Rights becomes a reality. Finally. Finally we actually get to live by a set of rights that kit are transparent. And that's the new agency. It's called transparency. That's the new agency. And I, I, I want to lay it out right now because I have the whole thing done, but I'm going to wait until I have the graphics for you guys to watch. And so I'm, I'm looking for this, uh, this peddlers down here. Peddlers cafe is what I'm looking for. And I'm just driving nice and easy and slow because as you know, these guys are absolutely terrifically bad here. Uh, McKnight and Blankenships. When I said the, when your brother came in, you two Blankenship guys, when your brother came in, he triggered so many people. I've got screenshots and screenshots. You know, I got an editor uh, who, who's contacted me that is gonna do some work with me, but I cannot seem to, to get a hold of him right now. And I, and I have tried, I have tried. So I'm trying to reach this editor who can synthesize the voices for me because I'm just not gonna put anybody in jeopardy. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna re-victimize people who, who told me their story and said, hey, may, please make sure that they don't know it's me. And then somehow, you know, I don't do my job as a journalist and make sure that the voice is completely synthesized so they can't tell who it is. Give me 15, give me, give me less than 10 seconds. Give me less than 10 seconds. I'm gonna put this address in my map real quick. South 3rd Street. Okay, I got the address here. I'm heading down to Peddlers. I want to hear your story. I'm going to just turn and burn on these stories today, one after the next after the next, because I'm being honest with you guys. Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. In a quarter mile, turn left. Hundreds of emails. Hundreds of people contacting me. Hundreds in a town of 10,000. So that means it's the tip of the iceberg.
So you guys are getting my trifold. Make sure you get it. Get the trifold. The free code is free trifold at checkout. And when you get pulled over by the police, you put the camera on them. You tell them you've been exposed. And I plead the fifth. That's it. You do not talk to cops. That's why I'm giving the free trifold away, the free digital trifold. You can buy the hard copy and I do appreciate your business, but at the same time, I want you to have it. That's why I give it away for free. It matters more to me that you have it. The you destination can, is on your left. You can print 2225 it. 2225 South 3rd Street. You can print it out at home. You can print it out at home. And then when you get pulled over, you you know, you, yours should be up here. I'll do a full demonstration today. And then you just show them, I don't have to answer. And then if they say they smell marijuana, you show them this one. And then and then if they say, uh, is, is that a threat? Then you show them this one. And every time what the cop says, watch your mouth right here. Watch your mouth is at the top. How you doing? How you doing? People are driving by waving. If they say, watch your mouth, you show them this one. And you say, and while you're at it, go ahead and go yourself. Because you don't have to watch your mouth. You can't scream and yell. Don't scream and yell. Because then they can say you're disturbing the peace. But you're allowed to sit there and say, you know, I think... And I wish that you would burn it. Right? You could say whatever you want. Just don't yell. Don't lose composure. Stay a citizen. Stay a respectful citizen. You notice when I tell these guys that they're maggots, I do it nice and calm and slow. I say, you signed up to take people to a dungeon and you think you're a good person. You're despicable. Right? And I'm allowed to say anything I want. And you know who's really good at that? How you guys doing? Here's the militia guys. There's a bunch of militia guys came down here. I don't. I, I, I call them militia, but they're not militia. They're just regular folk who don't want to who, who, who don't want to see anything happen to me. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I'm coming in right now. I'm coming in right now. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Once. Arrived. Oh, was you? Yeah. How you doing? What's your name? Cody. Cody. Nice Chilly. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you guys doing? I'm chilly. Nice to meet you, George. What's going on? You guys got a story? Well, how, how, how many times you been cheated by these guys? Well, Bubby, I'm harassed and looked at by badly by everybody. It's just a normal thing when it comes to me. They come stand right here. Come stand next to me. But I figured this way. You know, I figured come down and check you out. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Hi, people. Yeah. Everybody knows me here. <laughs> yeah. But I figured come down and check you out. Yeah. I'm going to be here uh, for a little while as long as they'll have me. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to take some stories. If you guys have been harassed by the cops, I want to hear it. Because what the cops do here is they turn it up to 100. That you have to be cuffed and stuffed and hurt and tased and, sh and, mm -hmm. and beat up. I've been tased. <laughs> oh, the, who tased you? Oh, it was a, a, a cop from over in Kentucky that got me tased over there. <laughs> I, I heard the tri-state area has got a bunch of cops that all band together to, to, to make sure that you don't get justice. Is that true? Uh, that I'm not really for sure about. Um, I do know when they're caught out on me, they come by uh, with a uh, force by a couple cards. <laughs> they come by force what? Well, see, I got a uh, approach with caution on me. So um, they come in with um, four okay. cars deep on me. And how many police have you beat up? Um, none here in town so far, but uh, <laughs> God bless a bunch. <laughs> how you guys doing? How you guys doing? I'm going to shake your hand. Okay, I'll shake your hand. Nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Good job. You no problem. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah, I appreciate it. One second. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're nice welcome. to meet you, Chili. My pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Um, My pleasure. Nice to meet you. You got a story, too? No, uh, just came down here for him. Okay. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you coming by. No problem. And listen, you're not a dangerous person. Don't touch anybody. Don't physically attack anybody. I see it this way. When it comes to force, if they have force to me, I have force back. Right. I don't. I don't resist. I, I'm not going to resist. <laughs> so just be careful, okay? Oh, well, be careful as we can. Okay. Know, thank you. Thank you, brother. No so sorry. I'm going to shake this man's hand, too. Sorry, partner. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, man. My pleasure. So that's what's going on here. I've got to, uh, I got, I've got to call ASD Docs. They deleted his whole channel. ASD Docs' channel was deleted because the powers that be didn't want him exposing the corruption. So the corruption of the Utah court system that, that, that they, 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 I, I mean, ASD Docs, send me your, I'm going to call him back. sit back there.
There's a little space back here. I could probably sit down. It's down back spot by the bathroom, so it kind of stinks. Kind of stinks. I suppose I could just sit right here, huh? Give people opportunity to come over and have a conversation. Let me see if I can find an outlet here somewhere. There's an outlet. There's an outlet. There's the outlet right there. It's right in the middle of the restaurant. That's a bummer. I can't believe that the judicial department in Utah, that the powers that be in Utah got ASD Docs channel deleted. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They'll try to do the same thing to me, They'll, just so you guys know. So we need to expand, we need to go to other platforms. I don't know if this is the right place. I can't, I can't, there's a, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to leave. I can't stay here because there's playing music in the background. So I can't stay here. Hey, Kelly. Hey. We're looking for you, dude. You looking for me? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, hang on. Okay. Someone else is looking for me. See, this is America. We're supposed to fight for this, not a thin blue stripe. So when you wear a thin blue stripe on your on your car or on your person, you're pledging allegiance to something different than America and Old Glory here. And Old Glory, I've been educated by several people who are in the armed forces, and I was not, even though I, I have a lot of respect for military signed up personnel. Yeah, how you doing, Chili? My name's Barry Joe, man. Barry Joe. Yeah, yeah Barry Joe, J O B E. Uh, um, I'm gonna move my I'm gonna move my. Uh, Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. We're watching Thank one you. of them right now with David. David's actually a childhood friend of mine. I'm going to move my bag. Why don't you jump in my car, okay? Give me one second. <clears throat> one second. Something needs to happen to these jerkwads. All right. You're my mm. kind of people, man. Um, did you guys find out if it was legal for them to have their license plate on please? or not? Yeah. I was just watching one of your videos. Did you guys find out if it was legal or not for them to have their license plates uh, on the back of their well, car? Well, according to, to Sheriff Lawless, he's saying that it's perfectly... Oh, oh the, are you talking about the stripe? You're talking about... No, I'm talking about the license plate, period. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Does anybody know if in the state of Ohio, if it's legal for them to have no license plate and have a blue stripe on there? Because that's a city-funded thing. And according to Eichmann, United States versus Eichmann, E-I-C-H-M-A-N, I believe that's 1971, uh, they, they tried to uphold flag code, but then it was struck down because, because um, freedom of speech, the First Amendment. However, in Eichmann, you also talk about um, the city or the municipality or the county or the state funding a terroristic flag. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna need, we're, I'm just so busy right now, I can't look at anything. Right. So, so tell me your well, name again. Uh, my name is Barry Job, J-O-B-E. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the characters lived at the top of my road in South Point. Who did? Uh, one of the characters that's involved with this. The, Blankenship, you know, the, the, the big canine unit with no tag on it. Okay. It's parked at the top of my road every day. Every day. And tell and, me your story. Well, I don't really have a story. I've just been watching you, and it's provoked me to feel the same way you do. These people are absolutely running people over. The city down here at Colgrove just got... Their whole their whole force resigned because oh, that's of right. what was going on with them. That's so right. So you think this next little town up the road is not doing the same thing? Oh, worse. They railroaded me down there. They they pulled me over for not having my license, for not ha not securing an operator. Thirteen hundred dollar fine. So that would be the Eighth Amendment against excessive fines and fees. And told me if they wasn't paid within a timely manner, and then they asked me what I could pay on it, what I could afford to pay at that time, and. When you tell somebody they owe you thirteen hundred dollars, that's not something you pay off at once. No, no, you're and, not a billionaire. Oh no, not by any means, man. I, I'm actually unemployed. Okay, uh, so, okay, gotcha. But you know, we just seen what gotcha. you were doing, and I heard that you're going to be at Peddlers, and I seen you talking to my buddy David. Gotcha. And it just, it just strikes a nerve when these people are doing what they're doing. 
Yeah. And you see it happen? Like, like they're, so, they're so even could, trying to scare we, you by riding around the hotel and whatnot. And, you know, I'm and, not intimidated. No, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not scared in the slightest. We have the and, utmost and, and, respect and, for you, man. And people who are telling me to watch my back from what? From what? Like you said, you've got all these cameras. But I think they're the ones that need to be watching. I got three point. different cameras in this van. Especially after that pullover in Tempe and the cop lied and said I almost hit a car. Now I cameraed out because I'm not going to have it. Just like Sarah did. There's more cameras around Sarah's house than I can't, I can't tell well, you it's here. The, it's the morning they pulled, they pulled me over on the Ashland Bridge going into Ashland one morning. And I asked him the reason for pulling me over. And he said, because you swerved around a wine box. I didn't know if you threw it out or not. If I swerved around it, how did I throw it out? I got gotcha. you. And that's where my $1,300 worth of fines came from. I had a joint on me. They took the joint, smoked it, did whatever they wanted to with it. Wasn't charged for marijuana at all. The only thing they said was you were driving without a license. Thirteen hundred dollars, smack the gavel. Incredible, incredible. That's what's going on here in these little in this little crappy. Uh, the town is not crappy. In this authoritative men who took the power and women who took the power for themselves under the color of law and are now abusing these people because there's been no transparency. There's been no transparency. It's my that buddy truck John. that just pulled up here yeah. when I heard him when he got it, he said, yeah, that's him, punk ass. He walked in, this, he walked in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah? Like he, he said, he, he's, he's not intimidated by nobody. Like, that's him. Why would I be intimidated? No, I know you would. For be. what I'm reason? Just telling, I'm just telling you. If, I'm telling him my story about when Carl Grove pulled me so, over. But hold on, then, can I can I jump in? I want, I want, I want, I, no, 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 pop his head in. Just, oh, okay. No, 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 just, just come pop out here. So, so tell me about the Coral Grove Police Department. Tell me about who resigned over there, all of them, and who was the who was the captain? I'm not sure who the captain was at the time. Hey, bud. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, turn that sign off. Hey, turn it off. Privately owned business, you may leave. I own, I own the business. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take off. No problem. Hey, no problem. So, so can, can I, I, I got no problem. Give me one second. So, so I got a question just real quick. Um, oh. do, you, do you guys like that I'm exposing the bad cops you here? You ain't exposing listen, no bad cops. Listen, you are There's not, no bad cops? No. You are not, not going my to. my grandson. You yeah. Who's your grandson? Blankenship. What's your name? Are you Carl? Hey. No. You he just said grandson. I said okay. turn that off and I'll stop talking. Well, I, listen, I, sir. I'll, I'll point it at myself. But no problem. I'll, I'll respect property. anything you want. Listen, you leave. You leave. Okay. Okay. But, but I just left the here. The grandsons are young. Hi, Sam. Hi, Ralphie. Hi, Ralphie. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, you you may, you hey. may leave the premises. How much right. money do you make a year doing this? Just out of curiosity. Not as much as I do as a TV producer. Don't keep no. him going. Keep I'm him going. not. I'm yeah, just curious. No, Ralphie. Cool. Ralphie called me a punk ass when he drove by. So I just want to know what you were thinking. I didn't call you a punk ass. Didn't you walk out and say that punk ass is here? Isn't that what you said? I didn't write no, I said that fucking street. scumbags here is what Scum I said. Rapping. So you don't like that I'm rooting Rapping. out the bad cops? Rapping. There's Rapping. not a bad cop in this town. Not You're the bad guy. Ship? Not Blankenship? No. No, 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 no they're not. not. McKnight? Not, not at all. McKnight beating people up's not bad? Look, dude, don't you're you? a fucking scumbag. Hey. I am? I'm you're a fucking scumbag. The only, for the last time, you leave the premises now. No problem. I, I, I'll do whatever you like. You ask me to leave, I have to leave. These, these are my I, I, these are my customers. Well, I'm going to pull over here. These are my customers. You asked me to leave, and I want to respect yeah, your I wishes as a private leave. business yeah. owner. I'd rather you not. Hey, it's not going to be not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, it's up to you, ma'am. If you ask, yeah. if, if he wants to finish, it's up to you. Now listen to me. They're my grandsons. Okay. And I like to know why you're trying. Uh, You're trying to railroad good people, man. Well, well, you had your shot. You told you told me off. I no, I, I, I put you on camera. You, you told me off. I'm not. Let, let him you speak. Off. She Listen, asked me to leave. I yeah, want to respect I your wishes. Get, I go, go go these kids, these kids, kids that you're Take speaking me. ill of, okay. are good kids. Like oh, they are. They, they, they yes, they are. I've known them since they were young, young men. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. He's trying to. You should stick around to, a little bit and get to know them. You, yeah. leave, you leave. I need to I, get. You okay. should get to do know you, them. Do you want to listen? Not listen. Are you a bully, Ralphie. or do you want to give him his chance? Ralphie. Do you Ralphie. want to give him his chance to speak, hey, Ralphie? Ralphie? You're good. I, no, I, I just want to give you your chance. Listen. Ralphie, he's not worth it. No, chill. I'm listen. worth it, and you're listen. worth it too. Listen. We're listen. all worth it. No, I apologize. Don't you're you right. Don't worry about your boy. I'll give him two chances. It aggravates me because I love these kids. I understand how you feel. You were told to turn it off, and you didn't listen. I'm gonna. Let's just go across the street. No, you're late. I don't. I'm gonna go right over there because I. I don't. I don't want. She asked me to leave. I have to ask you. I, I have to do her wishes because it's your property, right? No, Much respect. It's good. It's good. These are good kids, man. Well, hey, wrong, listen. Dude. I'll be right across the street. You're you, wrong on you, this. You can tell me off, but I'll show I'm you what I got. I'm not going to tell you off. You I, I got mad and I uh, maybe said too much. But it pisses me off because I know these are good kids. 
These are good kids, man. Well, the, so can I tell it's you what I got so far? No, you told me. Can I can I speak back to you, no. Ralphie? You're so good, far, I've got good, I've honey. got over two dozen people who said the Blankenships have beat them up. They, 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 let me finish. I let you finish. Yes. You said McKnight took people to the jail and took them off the cameras and beat them. Another guy said he put them in the back of the car and he beat him. Are they all lying? We ain't talking about. Because are they all lying? No, many, no, no. Wait. You said your part. Answer a question. How many good people are you dealing? Are with? Are they all lying? Is we every person lying? We're How many good about people are you dealing with? The Blankenships. Yeah, they those are the ones who beat, beat people up. They ain't beat nobody. I've got dozens of people who told me they beat them. You know why? Because they're on drugs. Oh, they're all on drugs. Oh, you damn straight. So the Blankenships only beat up people who do drugs. They Is that don't right? beat up nobody. Look. What are you talking? I got one guy who won't tell his story on camera. Hey. Hey, hey. Are they all hey. lying? Is no, everybody hey. lying? I, it's a question. Is everybody Come lying? On, man. Go give your boys Be real about it. Oh, I'm Look, real, dog. Even, I'm standing right you're, here. You're a fraud, bro. You're There's just me and you standing I here. Said, Look, I, I, you I, got anything, me I got anything. I got anything you want. You're a fraud. I said, I am. You do this. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Do this to get people gotcha. to follow you. Oh yeah. That's money. That's all I care about. This is all I. How much money did you make last year? Out of curiosity. I was homeless last year. I slept in an Come office. Come on, bro. I've seen you asking people the other day, and I've seen people donating the money. Okay. You're a fraud. Okay. You act now. like you're helping people. You come to a small town like this to get people stirred up. People watch Ralphie. your shit. Let me clear it up. You're right. I'm only doing this for me. This is only for me. You're a, you're a fraud. You, you got me. You're it's a, only for me. You're a fraud. You got a story, ma'am? That's my boss. I'm just watching. Well, I'm not going to hurt him. I, I want nothing to do with violence. They're not good people. They're not good people. They're bad people. I guess things are going to heat up here in Ironton today because now you got the cop suckers coming out. If they're good people, are does so let, let's 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 take what he said and make it true. The, the Blankenships only beat up people who do drugs. Well, let me just tell you something, folks. I lived in Hollywood for 20 years, and I did drugs. You think I should have got beat up for doing drugs? You think you should get beat up? The Blankenships should beat you up. You heard that man's story. He, got, he went over a bridge, swerved over a box, and the next thing you know, he got $1,300 in fines, and cops are all over him. This is anywhere town America. That's where I'm at right now. Just drop a pin where you live, pretty close to the same. Now you may not have the same drug problem they have here. One third of this town has a drug problem according to everybody that I've talked to. That's not a statistic uh, that I looked up. That's just what people are telling me that one third of these people have drug problems. That's what I'm hearing. And and by the way, the interviews are, show, are, are proving out that that's pretty close to true. I guess I'll head back over to the, uh, to the other cafe. I'll head back over to uh, Oh, there's a police officer. I'm gonna head back over to the other cafe here. I'm just gonna head back over to the other cafe. What was that place called? It's called Traders. It's called Traders Cafe. That's what it was called. So, you know, he's right though. He's right. Everything that I do is 100% for myself. 100% for myself. I do everything 100% for me. I do it 100% for me. And the reason I do it 100% for me is because hobby and theory, I said this last night, Thomas Hobbes' original social contract written in the Le Leviathan 1651. Thomas Hobbes' original essay on understanding, it's, I believe it's called The Nature of Man. If you wanna research Thomas Hobbes, look up The Nature of Man. And he said that everything we do is for ourselves. You do everything for, you're not even a good parent. You're not even a good parent because you want to parent your children well. You're a good parent because you don't want other people to say you're a bad parent. Or you're a good parent because the love your child gives you makes you feel good. But it's not about you being a good parent because you want to be a good parent. Because you're just a good person because according to Hobbes, you're not. You're a selfish, brutish, animalistic beast of a human being 
who would so easily and so, so, so simply do everything for your own selfish motives. I do everything for me. I, I live by Hobbes theory. He's right. Everything I do is for myself. Well, you know, so why am I doing it for myself? Why am I here helping these people out for myself? How's that work? Well, you know, when I was 25 and the cops charged me with five felonies for no reason, because I wasn't a drug dealer, I hadn't put any poison in anybody, no one was complaining about me, they just manufactured stuff to try to, because a confidential informant, who I know who that was, uh, said that I was a drug dealer, and then from there, next thing you know, I'm a drug dealer and they SWAT team my house. You made me, cops. You made me. So now, because that happened to me when I was 26 years old, 27 years old, now I do everything for myself so that this same thing doesn't happen to me. So that I don't get railroaded by these filthy swine who say, oh, I'm a good person. I'm doing the good work as you shackle people in torture cuffs, you garbage. You can't shackle someone like a pig and then say, I'm a good person. I got a right to go home safe to my family as you drop people off at a dungeon. <laughs> I'm a good person. I just took a couple people to the dungeon today. They might get raped. They might get murdered. They're going to have to pay all their money in excessive fines and fees. But I'm a really good person. Look, I'm wearing this badge. You're a clown, brother. You're a clown. Man, none of the good cops are glad that I'm here getting rid of the bad cops. Why is that? Why is that? Hang on one second. I'm going to... I'm going to... All right. If you guys want to keep in touch, go to deletelaws.com. Go to deletelaws. Go get that trifold and put the code in free trifold for the free digital download. And then you always show them that you're not going to speak to police. How you guys doing? There's, there's people driving by waving to me, people driving by putting their fists out. Like it's, it's, it's happening in real time. People are driving by saying, yeah, yeah. And then you have the, the cop suckers like those folks. So it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, um, ASD docs, I need to know his new channel. Uh, you guys reach over and hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, for my friend Mark, who called me this morning, was like, Chili, you got to say subscribe. I, d I didn't see, uh, contrary to what those, what those people said, I didn't do this for likes and follows and subscribers. I did this because I'm sick of it. And I have the knowledge of constitutional law to enforce my First Amendment, Second Amendment, Third Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, all of my rights I can force on them because my rights are unequivocal given to me by God. Don't you try to sell me that you're the law. Oh, he belongs in jail. For what? What crime have I committed? What's the statute I broke? The cops are having emergency meetings because there's someone in town exposing the bad police. Why would you guys have an emergency meeting about a guy exposing the bad cops? Why aren't you cops calling me confidentially? If you notice, I haven't leaked anybody's name. Anybody who said, don't leak my name, I haven't leaked their names because I'm not going to do that to people. Even though this is all for me, I'm not going to do that to people. Cops are waiting on you down there. Where? That's pub. At Station. They're not waiting on me. Uh, I saw them. Yeah, I know, but you don't know these guys. What, what, don't, what don't I know? <laughs> Tell me what I don't know. You got this and you're, you're stirred up a hornet's nest. I, I, so, so what have I done wrong? Nothing. What, what laws have I broken? Nobody has to do anything wrong. I mean, tell, tell me what I did that's so bad. I don't know that you did anything, honey. I'm so, just saying they're sitting down there. I'm here. They're, they can sit down there all day. I'll go sit down there with them. Where are they at? Right by the pub. I, I, I have every right to go anywhere I want unmolested in America. That's right. We'll what have I done there. wrong? We'll tell, go sit there. We're going to eat the cafe. We'll go sit down there too. Is that where they're going? You, you, you guys want to go to the cafe? Yeah. I'll go to the cafe. Let's get a coffee. Okay. I'm going to follow you, okay? Okay. Let's just go get a coffee and talk. Okay. Okay? I got a couple more people behind me. Oh, wait. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all. Wait a second. Wait one second. Stop. Wait one second. I got, I got to talk to this gentleman here. This gentleman wanted to defend the honor of the Blankenship. Do you guys know about the Blankenships and McKnight? I know about them. You know, you know, you know about McKnight? Is that what you said? What about him? You're not on camera, by the way. They can only hear. I was you. living with Teresa when that happened. You were living with Teresa when that happened, mm -hmm. and it, 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 McKnight was horrible. Oh yeah, yeah. Is he he was way out of line. He he is abusive. All these young ones are. All the young ones are abusive, mm -hmm. and so McKnight's hurting people. Yeah, he hurt her bad. Video. I got him on video. There he goes. He but, hurt her bad. But but I wanted to give this gentleman here an opportunity. Can you turn that off? If you can turn. 
let, I'm just gonna put him in my car. Just go ahead. We'll go down there and order something. No, I'm gonna follow you oh. because I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going down there for the cops. I'm going down there to have a coffee with okay. you two. So okay. if you we'll wait, wait, hey sir, will you jump in so we can have some privacy and you can tell me how you feel? I want to give you your your honest time, sir. I'm a journalist. I want to. Yeah. You have an you have an equal right to be heard. Yeah. I would never cut you off. Okay. I want to give you the. You, you want to defend your family's name? God bless you for staying strong. I think they're corrupt thugs. Now I, I want to hear your per point of view. I wish you wouldn't say that because you're, you're calling my grandson stuff. Well, I've got, can, can I show you the screenshots? Hey, yes, you can. There's so many. Put that cigarette out and jump in the car so we can have some okay. privacy, and I want to give you your fair due. Is that fair? Is that fair to do, to give this gentleman his fair shake? I think it is. I don't think anybody should be shut down in America. You have freedom of speech. You should be heard. Jump, jump on in. I'll be in five minutes, all right? Here, sir, let me get you, let me get you a bottle of water. Oh, I'm okay, I got stuff in there. It's, it's, I'm sure you go crack this, your mouth's gotta be dry, you're emotional. Go ahead and drink some water, oh, brother. Yeah, I'm good. So, so, first of all, tell me your name, sir. Cecil McClellan. Cecil McClellan, okay. So, now, I've got literally a dozen people now, especially after the Blankenship comment yesterday from his, their brother, that said that the, the boys are thugs, they beat people up and hurt people. I have direct testimony from one gentleman I sat next to who cried and told me the Blankenships hurt him badly. <laughs> told me about his injuries, and he's not a druggie. He doesn't do drugs. Yeah, right. is, is he lying? Probably. Okay, and then I've... Maybe, I, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I know these boys went 12 years in school, and one of them had one fight in 12 years. Didn't one flip over a bus when he was driving recklessly? No. Isn't that written up in all the papers? He passed a school bus. And, and the bus scoop, scoop flipped over. smoke or something was supposed to come out of the car. And the bus hit the ditch. The we smoke had, came out of the car? So did he put a smoke machine in the back of the car? No. It was his girlfriend's car. Okay. And the intern's company went, they just about blowed her car up trying to get it to smoke. Okay. But they've had problems before with those cars. Ford Company, they took okay. that. Okay. So, so, so is the car... Was just, that was just a minor, minor He was charged, accident. though. He was charged, though, right? Yes, he was. Right. And he that, could, this is before he's a cop? He couldn't become a cop because of that. He had to wait oh, okay. three years. Okay. How old are they right now, those two grandsons? Uh... 22, 23, like it. and I, I'm 47 year old man, and I'm a constitutional law scholar. You think those guys should be able to be in charge of the law over me? You think that those guys are qualified to be the the law over what I know about the law? I mean, they're writing on all their chat boards that I should go to jail. What laws have I broken? Well, they was coming to take you to jail a while ago. Oh, they was? Yeah. For what? I don't know. That woman said they was coming after you, but you got away before they got there. I'm hey, uh, Ironton <laughs> Police Department. I'm sitting right across here, across from the oh, Printing Press Express. You're legal. Come yeah. arrest me. Come, come charge me with frivolous crimes. You're, I can't wait to file a 1983. But I want to give you the chance you to defend them. Uh, you, you ain't let me say what I come to I, say. I know that. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Tell me. I want to know why you're trying to ruin two young boys' career. Because they're abusive thugs who no, are beating on people. I have videos. I have testimony. I uh, tried to keep them from even getting into this law stuff. Of course, because only I people who are terrible best. become cops. Okay. No. I done There's my good best. Cops? Yes, they are. Have you been shackled like a pig before? Have you yes, been cuffed? I have. How's the, how's the cuffs feel? Well, they hurt sometimes. They hurt sometimes. They, don't. they always hurt. Unless... I ain't talking about that. I'm okay. just asking defend you your, why defend, you're trying to defend your nephew's honor. Trying to your grandson's honor. Run two co two young cops. Okay, uh, can I woman answer? Yeah. I'm here because Sarah Page sent me the videos of his grandson stalking her for ten minutes, following her on every street, finally pulling her <laughs> over. You don't see the video? Uh, she was a chasing him for ten minutes, and then uh, you didn't see the video. Uh, uh. We, but I, that's all I want to know why you're trying to run to. Because you, multiple people are contacting me for help because there's a lawless town here. That's why. No, they're not. They're, they're not contacting me? Oh, they probably why are. are these, why are people following me? I don't me? even know who you okay, are. Okay, explain this to me. Why are people following me around? Sh I just want to shake your hand. Why are people saying that to me? I'm nobody, dude. I'm a nobody. I'm a zero in the world. So I why are people too. doing that? I am, they, 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 why? They've got something to hide, and you know it. All of them do. Every person does. Most of them. What? What about the guy? What, what about the guy? We'll call him. We'll call him Johnny. What about Johnny, who who I sat next to, who I spoke to, who said, "Here's what Blankenship did to me. First, he did this, and then he hurt me badly. I had to go to the hospital." Which Blankenship? Well, I don't know. They only have Blankenship on their name tag. They don't have their first initial on their name tag, so if you don't know who they are, you can't identify them properly. Uh, you know, they, Chance and Brandon, right? They uh, may have to defend themselves. Defend themselves.
themselves? You, how many people are attacking cops? How many people attack the no police? I have no idea. I don't even know if they... Uh, you, you're, no, no, how many people? You're twisting words. I, did, I, I just kind of want to know why you're... Be, uh, why, I, answered, why you're... I answered your question, sir, with respect. I'm here because I saw videos of the Blankenship <laughs> brothers committing civil rights violations. What is this it's on, you haven't seen the video? No. Go to the Sarah Page story on YouTube. You get to see uh, 45 minutes of body cam footage. On what? On delete laws on YouTube. It's the same thing. This video is going to go on. Right now, there's 1,300 people watching you live. Most of them are probably from here. And most of them agrees with me. Why are you trying, no, to, they don't. trying to hurt two young kids? No, career? they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> Why am I trying to hurt their careers? Being a pig is not a career. They ain't it's pigs an authoritarian either. garbage position. They ain't pigs either. Dude, they're beating they're people young up. Cops. Yeah, you, so you didn't answer my question. You think a 22, 23 year old guy and you think but a 26 year old kid should be able to tell someone who knows the law that, I, that they're in charge of the law. Do you think that's right? Or should the minimum age for police be 35? Well, like I said, I didn't want him to. As a, as a 22 year old a kid? I didn't even want him to get in it. Oh, God, I, we, I, we agree there, sir. I'm proud of him because they did, but You're I, didn't, proud of them? I didn't want him. Yes, I'm Look proud. Look at all of the him. heat going on oh, right now. I'm proud of him. All right. All right. Well, how'd you come? What, what made you come to Arnton anyway? Sarah Page and Sarah Tim Page? Lyons. That's right. And now, you know what? <laughs> uh, Johnny, Johnny's story of Blankenship, he busted him up, bro. He busted. Another story of another boy getting beat in the jail. Where McKnight said, you know what? You need to get an attitude adjustment. Holds this person well, down and beats them. I have testimony. That's McKnight. I don't know McKnight. You All think I, McKnight's good? I don't know him. But your two, your two grandsons are impervious. They're good. Yes. Okay. Anything you want to say good about them for they're, the audience? They're all good. They're good. Everything. They're all good. the cops are good? I'd say they are. All but the I cops are good. I don't know them, but I'd say they are. All lives matter, right? Yes. Okay. Got, you, got your position. Got your position. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There it is. You have his position. There it is. Uh, thanks, you guys, for the support. I appreciate it. And uh, let's. I'm going to go down with these. Uh, let's go down and get a coffee, ladies. And I'll just keep my camera rolling. If the cops are waiting for me, let's go. Let, if they're right down there where we're going to get a coffee, we'll find out, won't we? If they pull us over, you film that. Oh, they're not going to pull you over for no reason. You don't know them guys, buddy. <laughs> are you ready That's why people's not really wanting to speak to you. The people are not really wanting to speak to me because of why? Let's go down and have a conversation where I can get you on mic, okay? I don't want to be on film. No, not on film. I'll just get your voice, okay? Gotcha. He didn't really say too much about defending the honor of those boys. He didn't really say much that was like, oh, yeah, I'm, that makes, you know. Meanwhile, I got Johnny, Johnny. That's not his name. But Johnny, he told me, he said to me, Blankenship, what he did to me was so atrocious, was so nasty. And Johnny's scared. Johnny's scared. He doesn't want to come forward because Johnny's scared. Do you understand what I just said to you? A full grown man is afraid. Why? I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I've been just down the line too much, you know, especially after the, the, the TikTok debacle garbage, right? I'm not afraid. Why would I be afraid? I'm here to expose the corruption. I'm here to root out the bad cops so that the good cops can all celebrate that. Isn't that fair? That's a fair thing to say, right? You know, if you guys are watching, what I want you guys to do is go back in my lectures. Go back where I lecture and I teach constitutional law. The videos that say EDU, the three-part series called Overturn Terry. That's what I want you guys to, to learn. Watch the Overturn Terry series. That teaches you how Terry v. Ohio is so disgusting, and that's what the that's what that's what's used on people mainly most of the time. And that girl who contacted me about her dad, she airdropped me her video. If I can ever get two seconds to spend any time editing, then I'll edit that video and I'll show you that Blankenship and McKnight go into this convenience store and attack a man because he has a warrant for not showing up for probation. Everybody here has been arrested. Everybody here has been arrested. Everybody's dealing with a case. So, so just so you guys know, the laws were created against black people, like it or not, and for capitalism and for big business. 
and from a mandate. That's how the laws were created. If you, if you go back and you watch the history of my videos where I teach the history of the origins of law. And now those laws that they created for big capital, for uh, the, the mandates of banning chemicals, and for racism, those laws are being used against white people. And that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing middle America is losing their mind because and that's the same thing the Blankenship's uh, grand, uh, brother said yesterday. They're all on drugs. Everybody here, Johnny wasn't on drugs. The mother isn't on drugs. The mother who found the meth in her boy's pocket and said, where'd you get this? And she said, Carl Blankenship. They're all on drugs. Everybody's on drugs. There's not a single person who's not on drugs. Everybody who talked bad about the cops beating up, they must be on drugs. They just must be on drugs. Is that what it is? Is that what's going on here? You don't have a right to not get your butt kicked by the cops if you do drugs. Well, you know what? I don't have any drugs. I don't carry any drugs. But if someone's got weed, I'll smoke some weed once in a while. Well, I used to smoke a lot, but I can't anymore because I just have too much to memorize. I have too much that I have to be sharp about. So I just can't take that chance of uh, not having my brain clear. It is nice at the end of the night to smoke a J if I got one. <laughs> I'm a human being like everybody else. So, all right, I should, I should, um, uh, listen, you guys get that trifold. If it, whether you get the one for free or you get the indestructible one for me, you guys cannot talk to cops. You have a role and I have a role. We have different roles. So you don't talk to cops because unless you know as much as I do, and unless you can articulate quickly and emphatically and with real power, then they're going to just hurt you and arrest you and beat you up and hurt you and cheat you and charge you with crimes. You literally, as soon as you see the cop, you start filming first and then you straight up tell them, you have been exposed. I don't have to answer any questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right and you point to this. The code for the digital download is free trifold at checkout. Okay. I guess it'd be the longest live in the history of time, but that's fine. I thought the cops were, 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 were hiding out to arrest me. I thought that's what was going on. Why would, why would I get arrested? What have I done wrong? What, what, what law have I violated? Are you talking about going to this cafe right here? Traders? I've never been in there. Traders Cafe. There. Um, I don't know if all this side here is handicapped or not. She's got a handicapped sticker for her, so I don't know if Oh, it's the entire side handy? I don't know. No, you, you would you would you signs? you would actually see a blue stripe oh, right there. Okay. See that? That's right. how they, that's how they okay. that, the okay. city the city I does it. Want to get you in <laughs> She's on the phone talking to her That's okay. Let, let's let's go in here and let's continue the conversation and uh I was here yesterday. I don't. I don't know. I thought you was gonna be here this morning. Yeah, I, I actually slept till eleven because I went to sleep about four thirty, and I just could not get to sleep. Could yeah, not. I oh, my, He's up late. He's gonna be sleeping in. My we, Those doors are locked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Where they can't run you off if you're down here at the boat ramp. At the boat ramp. Mm -hmm. So let let me let me talk to you for a minute under the shade. People are driving by filming me, which is the story of my life, by the way. People record my conversations. People uh, videotape anything I say or do. So, no come, come stand right here. I, don't want I got that. Just, just, okay. the, my, this, ah! Camera's pointing at me, and so, 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 tell me, how long has it been corrupt here? I'm 60. You're 60. <laughs> Let, well, let's jump in my car, so the wind doesn't mess up the sound. Just jump in here, and I'm gonna. Where, where are we going to go eat at, though? Where are you going to eat at? I, I can't be in a restaurant that plays music. There can be no music. So. People are driving by waving. I'm just not filming them. People are driving by waving. People are driving by filming. People are driving by because they're so tired of it. This guy drove by and smiled at me. How you doing? He waved to me. So many people. So you're 60. The corruption's been here for, for how long? As long as I know. As long as you know. Mm -hmm. And how, how corrupt is this current regime with Pam Wagner and Sheriff Jeff Lawless? I just know little bits about that, so. What do know. you know? <laughs> it's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. I know, you know, it is. Let's, uh, let's ride over there to Graham. She's going to go there. Okay. You want to jump in with me?
There's people. How you doing? Thank you. There are people who are driving by Honka. We will not be pulled over because if we're pulled over, I'll file a lawsuit against them and I'll win. Because will get pulled over. you will not be pulled over. <laughs> and it, 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 just so you know, everybody in town seen you with me. Just so. Oh, I know. So it's She's not... already got calls saying, don't talk to you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to me about what? Anything. But I don't understand. Can you help me understand? Don't the people want the corruption here to stop? They're afraid of what's going to happen. I'm sorry, speak up. What would you say? They just don't want retaliation. They're afraid of what's going to happen? Is that what you said? She said they're afraid of what's going to happen. What would happen to them because they spoke out against the corrupt police? You'll go to the dungeon. You'll go to the dungeon. Have they arrested you? You've been arrested too. Everybody in this town has been arrested. Everybody here has been put through the torture and you get to see McKnight or Blankenship attack them. You know, I don't, I only have a couple complaints about Fouch, but he just backs up the tyranny. He's what, like when you have 99, when you have a hundred cops and one beats someone up and 99 see it, how many bad cops do you have? You have a hundred bad cops. So what do you know about, about Carl Blankenship? I don't know the man. You don't know the man. Mm -mm. Okay. Because the thing is, 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 is I'm not trying to investigate Carl, but so many people are telling me he's a drug dealer and he's a, he's a kingpin. So many people. I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. Okay, well, the, there's one for you, Carl. Mr. The Blankenship family. She's never heard and she's been here 60 years. I don't you, do drugs. <laughs> oh, she also doesn't smoke methamphetamines. So there's that. There's that. Okay. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to add while we're, while we're talking here? No. Let's go over there. Where am I going to? Just down here. Look, I'll bring it over here. That way I can get out and So what does that mean, you live here? You can't tell me things on the record. You can tell me off the record because you live here. What does that mean? I live here. That means that they'll retaliate against you. I so is that justice? No. There is no justice. I posted the lyrics yesterday for I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. And one of the Sam to say, well, I know what's right. I've got just one life in a world that just keeps pushing me around. And I stand my ground and I won't back down. And I won't back down. I'm not afraid of these cops. I've been beat up by cops. You have no idea. Before there was this camera phone, because I'm truly an oh, that's okay. well, because I'm truly an aggressive person, I'm aggressive. And before I was highly educated, you know, before I was 25 years old, I I, I mean, people in my hometown know this. I I, I was in a hundred fist fights because I'll fight you if you want to fight. And then when I became educated, I realized that's not the right way to do it. Yeah. It's the wrong, especially when I started to train and get really good at MMA. Then at that point, I realized, you know what? It's not right for me to attack people who don't know who don't know as much as I do. It's wrong. I shouldn't fight them because they don't know that I'm training and learning MMA to fight people, right. or to, to fight you know, in a cage. So that's really crazy that she can't say the truth on camera because she can't be on the record because she's afraid that the cops will retaliate against her. Is that the truth? Am I, am I lying about anything there? No. So she's, she's kind of quiet. She said no. That's the reason a lot of people ain't here. Oh, there are people are looking for me right now. I, I just can't check my text messages while I'm on this live. So I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna keep on going. I guess I'm going to the boat house. Yeah, boat ramp. I guess I'm going to the boat ramp. That's where I'm going if people are looking for me in Ironton. They'll come there. You guys can, <laughs> you guys can spread the word. They'll all be there. I just don't want to ruin someone's business with the... the right, this will be the best place. Yesterday, I, 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 uh, I paid them a little bit of money. Which is straight here? Yeah. Straight across? Uh -huh. Across these tracks? Yep. And, I, and I've got cameras all around the car. Pointing. There's cameras all over this place too, so. Okay. <laughs> so this is the boat ramp. Okay. This is the boat ramp. All right. It's, it's, just so you guys know, uh, in the art of war, you wouldn't want to be in this particular place. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll back in right here so I can see anybody coming. And, uh, but I, I want you on the record is what I want, to be honest. And I don't, think, I don't think you have to be afraid. I think that there's so many stories coming out that you should just be honest. There, <laughs> gotcha. All right. I know where you could go. 
Where? You could go up to Ironton McDonald's. It's in there. Ironton McDonald's? That's a good place. Uh, they, do they play music in there? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'll follow. Did they I'll, open I'll, up the cafeteria? Yeah. Did they? Did they open it back up? Then I'll follow you. Okay. Okay? Well, and thank you. I'll have to send you on my sister. <laughs> or can't you call her or text her? Yeah. Or do you know her phone number? I'll just call her and tell her we're going to McDonald's. Or text her and tell her you're going to McDonald's. She might be. How, why are the townspeople helping me? How come the secret police meeting I know about? Why do I know about that? How come I know that the cops all, all I'm going to McDonald's, Ironton people. I don't, I don't know if people are for me here that are passing me, but that's where I'm going. I'm going to the McDonald's. How come the townspeople are telling me all the dirt, all the information? If it's so legit here, if the cops are good, like the gentleman who was sticking up for his, for his sons, if they're good, then why are people telling me the information? Why is that? Why is she afraid of retaliation? How come that is? Why would that be? How come that is? If it's all good, why am I getting so much information said to me? How come that is? Why is that? still recording we are still recording mm -hmm. i will what i will do is i will end this lot well, I, I i just I, I don't want to while i'm driving through town i don't want to turn because right. the only thing that works against these filthy swine it's is illegal. absolute transparent it's not illegal it's for me to hold my phone text and drive i'm not texting to. okay you're right i'm not texting <laughs> right. i'm paying attention to the road everybody right. can see i'm paying attention to the road right. i'm not even looking at the audience unless i come to a stop <laughs> it's not illegal for me to stream it's illegal to text and drive i'm not texting they can try to figure out a way but you know what someone send me the code on that in ohio make sure that make sure that we stay legal here oh i'm sure they're going to try to get a, a bill passed that says you can't stream when you drive i'm sure of it mm -hmm. What these dirty swine have done is through the fraternal order of police funding them, they've taken ex-cops and they've put them in, in positions of, I support trooper, that, you see what that says? I support trooper island. That's what that says. That's what that says. I support trooper island. I don't know what that means exactly. I, I don't really know what that means. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that works against these swine is the camera nothing else works asd docs asd docs i'm going to mention you all day asd docs please jump into the comments and let people know what your new channel is called youtube deleted his channel for no reason because he showed that the utah courts were corrupt that's what happened so sad that's why we couldn't find you this morning then you were looking for me this morning mm -hmm. so you do have a story to tell you just don't want to tell it on the record no, we were just wanting to listen to you on the, on the videos. This is the only thing that works against corruption. And so for that reason, the new third party that I've written, we're going to get cameras in every courtroom, audio recordings in every courtroom, so that you can record your own audio, just like Susan Bassey said, and you don't got to pay $10 a page to the court where they can take things out of the record. Yes, they do. They, and she just said they do. That's exactly what they do. You should be able to have an audio recording of your court without having to pay a court system because technology has changed that. We're not living in 1800 anymore. It's so preposterous. Did you tell your sister where we're going? Yeah, I just said her. She's up here talking about I mean, everybody got to know it's you. Any well, they won't know the private information because I'm going to change your voice. So. We've already been texted. They do know. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure why the police would want to arrest me. You should want to thank me and shake my hand. I know you can't do it publicly, but you should want to thank me. Now, maybe I don't have any respect for your uh, chosen job because you signed up where they take people to a dungeon still, but that doesn't mean that I can't respect you as a person. I have zero respect for cops, zero. Multiply that times a million, what does that equal? Zero. I have zero respect for cops. Now, people, when they're not, and retired cops, listen, I've been having conversations with retired cops, and I want to talk, who's that the police department that retired? Every single cop that retired from that police, what is that, right up the street? Coral Gable, is that what you said? Uh -huh. What was the name of that police department that retired? Everybody retired. Oh, well, Cobra. 
What was it called? Uh, Bear, Cold Grove. This little town. Co Coral Grove? Uh, Cold Grove. Cole, C O A L? Yeah. I want to talk to the cops from Coral Grove. If anybody knows those cops who resigned from Coral Grove, Cold, I want to. Cold Grove. Cold Grove. C O L. Cole, C O L E or C O A L? C O A L Grove. C O A L Grove. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to those cops who retired, that, that abruptly retired because they were being forced to do tyrannical things to citizens and they were being forced into breaking their oath to the Constitution. And that's what matters the most to me. That's what matters the most to me. You see, you see what people do? They try to intimidate. I do. Hey, you, you, you think I'm scared of you, bud? Not even close, dude. Not even close. You're gonna go home. I'm coming back. <laughs> Are you? I, I, I got power of attorney for Sarah. Oh, good. I'm going to be filing her federal lawsuit. Good. And I get to go in court and work as an advocate under the power of attorney. Do you, you see? Work right. as a voice for that person. <laughs> right. So, so, so tell me what you know. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm at McDonald's for the people of Ironton. I'm at McDonald's. I'm right here. There's a Taco Bell next to it. I'll post an announcement. If you guys would, please, uh, thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I got some moderators in here who, who, who uh, whatever. Um, there you go, brother. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to uh I'm going to end this live real quick here and I will be back on later. Make sure that you guys know um uh that you should get that trifold for free. If you want it for free, if you can afford it, buy it, but get the trifold so you don't talk to cops anymore. No more speaking to cops, no more words. You've been exposed, film them, show them their 5th amendment. You're driving the car, give them your license, your registration and proof of insurance for the people of Ironton who've never seen this before. You want your driver's license and your insurance and your registration on a laminated card. You take a photocopy of your driver's license and then you cover up your pertinent information. You take a photocopy of your, of your insurance and of your reg and you put it on one laminated card. And when the cop comes up, that way you don't have to get into your phone. You want to get this done. You want to get this done. And everything should be rubber banded on your visor. Everything should be right here on your visor with a rubber band. And then when the cop comes up right here, I got a rubber band around here. The cop comes up, one of my hands goes right here. My other hand goes right here when I get pulled over. I typically take my hand and stick it on my seat right here when I get pulled over, just so the cops can see it. And then I put my other hand right here. And now when the cop comes up, he's gonna ask me, driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. I'm gonna, since my hands are already up, I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna pull down my visor, right there and I've got it ready to go. Now, because what they do is they take your driver's license to take ownership of you, to try to show that they have dominion over you, which pisses me off, it did for years. You don't get to take my hard copy driver's license. You get, I'm presenting my identification, check your state statute. You don't have to give them your hard copy license. You show them this, you put this here. If you want, you can just give it to them. But what I do to slow down the stop is I slowly peel the tape off and tell them I'm gonna get my ID for you. Now. And, and, and I pull it off. Now, the first thing I do is I say, what I want you to say is, respectfully, officer, respectfully, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right and show it to them. If they say, I smell marijuana, flip over your trifold. And just like this, so the cop comes up, I give him my license and my insurance and registration on the laminated card. He can peel the tape if you don't want to talk to him. And then you say, respectfully, officer, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. And it's all on camera. That's why these dirty pigs haven't arrested me for no reason, because the camera. That's why these dirty pigs haven't arrested me because they know that I have a right to call them pigs. I have a right to tell them that they can go pound sand. I have that right. I'm an American. I'm free. So when you get pulled over, you get your, your laminated trifle, you get your laminated deal all put together, and then you immediately invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent right there. It says right here, you have to answer. That's what the cop's going to say. You have to answer. Officer, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. Or don't speak at all because you only have to indicate. You only have to indicate if you don't want to talk. 
indicate, and it's on camera, so you've indicated that you're not gonna speak, that you will not speak. It's that simple, that's how that works. Just like that, you indicate, I plead my Fifth Amendment right here. You indicate, and, the, and now if they take your license, and by the way, people's registration and their licenses and their, their actual hard copy stuff here in Ironton, they're stealing your stuff. They're stealing your driver's licenses. They're stealing your registration. That's what's happening here. I talked to two different people. One had their registration stolen. The other had their actual hard copy driver's license taken. Two people, yesterday alone. How many other people in Ironton had their license, registration, or proof of insurance taken by the dirty swine and they didn't give it back? How many people? This is how you do it. You can get the trifold for free by going to delete laws and putting free trifold. You print it out yourself. It costs you nothing other than the print charge. If you want to get my indestructible paper, you can order it and I'll send it to you from California. Okay? Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This is how you do your pullover. I was going to do an individual video of this, but this is good enough. Give them your license and at a DUI checkpoint, don't roll, don't roll down your window. Stick your information on the glass and look straight forward. I'm not going to interact with you at all. I'm not answering any of your questions, not a single one. I'm not going to answer your questions. I'm not even going to look at you because this is an illegal detainment under SITS versus Michigan State Police 1990. All right. I've got to, uh, I got to do something. So now you guys know, now you guys know the information I know. That's how you use the trifold. You don't speak. You can even indicate with your finger. I invoke my fifth. What the cop is going to say is written in bold on top. The cop will say, is that a threat? That's what the cop says. And then you simply point out that the law is from Chaplinsky versus United States, 1942, that that is not a threat. You don't have to say anything. You just point indicate. And if he says, if he says, watch your mouth because you told him to go fly a kite right there, I don't have to watch my mouth. Cohen versus California, 1971. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, is, is, is Chief Pam in here? Did she come in? Are you, I, I just saw Chief Pam. All right, I got to get out of here. Hi, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Uh, I got to get out of here. A lot of people waiting to talk. I'm at the, uh, I, I'm, I'm at the, the McDonald's in Ironton. That's where I'm at. So I will see you guys down here. I will see you guys down here. Anybody want to, uh, and then you guys can find, someone just says that, you can find my donation apps in every one of my videos except for this one. Uh, it's in the comments and, uh, and you can find the website, deletelaws.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and like and share. I, I, I gotta get better at this because I, I, I didn't join this to get subscribers and likes and shares, but I have to get more, more popular, bigger, 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 bigger. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notifications, subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, like, and share. Ironton City Council meeting is tonight. Is that true? Is the Ironton City Council meeting tonight? I'll see you guys tonight. I'll see you guys tonight. All right, I'll see you guys later. Talk to you soon, bye. I didn't know that.